Hi everyone, my name is Casey Cho. I'm from Topia's One Elementary School by Lando. Today I'm going to tell a story. The title is Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, there was a little poor woodcutter who had two children named Hansel and Gretel. One day they got an evil stepmother. One night the stepmother tells the woodcutter, the kids eat too, but we'll be starving soon, so let's leave them in first and get rid of them. What are you saying? No! But the wife was very persistent and keep talking about it until she's convinced. Hansel overhears their conversation and goes out that night and collects some tiny white stones, hides it in his pockets and sleeps. The next morning, the summer takes the children to the forest and Hansel keeps dropping the shiny white stones to the ground thinking, my grandfather is home. Here, I will come back to get you. But she didn't come back to get them. Hansel and Gretel waited for nightfall. When nightfall arrived, they followed the shiny white stones. When they got back home, the stepmother was secretly angry. A few days later, the stepmother again checked the children. Here, take this bread to eat later, or we'll have a picnic tomorrow. This time, the stepmother locked their door so Hansel couldn't pick up any shiny stones. The next day, the stepmother takes the children to the forest and Hansel crumbs his bread into tiny pieces and drops it in the ground thinking, we can follow these home. This looks like a good spot. Go take a nap first while I go cut some wood. Hansel and Gretel waited for nightfall. When they woke up, the birds and wild animals had eaten all them And they walked and walked until they found a little house. Look, look, a cookie house. Wow! The house made chocolate, the roof made cake. Come, come. The hungry children didn't even stop to think and they heard a voice. Children, come inside. You seem hungry. I'll cook you some delicious food right now. The lady was a witch, but Hansa and Gretel didn't know she was a witch, and they come in with her. Ha ha ha, it's a trap. I'll button the boy up and make a tasty treat for myself. Her eyes were red. She had bad eyesight, but good sense of smelling. She locked Hansa into a cellar and made Gretel do all the housework. Hansa and Gretel begged and cried, but she had no mercy on them. Every single morning, the wisp yelled at Hansel Seller. Show me your favorite boy! You should be fat at the end of this one! But Hansel always takes out a tiny bone to her Sophia. And she was furious that Hansel keeps staying so thin! One day, she lost her patience and yelled at Gretel. I don't care anymore! I cook thin Hansel anyhow! Shut the oven fire right now! Gretel had no choice but to obey what she said. Check if the water is boiling enough. But how? Can you show me how to do it? Oh, you stupid girl. What's the matter with you? It's so easy. Just stop here and... Gretel cleverly pushed her into the oven and locked the door. And she rushed to hand the cellar to her. When they want to rush out of the house, they saw the witch's jewelry, and they brought the witch's jewelry with them. Finally, Hansel and Gretel managed to find their way back home, and they gave the witch's jewelry to their father. Their father greeted them with tears of joy, and the family was never poor again. Thank you.